So the specifications on the current HE is 1% at 100 amps. So I have it set up here in the car. I've got my main uh, cell negative going through my current or through my four-man shunt and then down through and off to the cell. So this is the the power that actually goes to the cell. The, uh, if I were to hook it up to the ground of the pulse width modulator, then I would also be using uh, the current that the pulse width modulator draws. So we only want to draw it from the cell negative. And we got the poor man shunt hooked up here, and as I mentioned before, it um, it's one milliwatt. Or correction, it's one millivolt per amp. All right, so I got my car running. I'm producing about um, 13.5 volts from the alternator. And I'm currently reading on the uh, current HE. 1.127. Oh, so I take that and multiply it by 25 and that comes out to be 28.1 round up 28.2 amps and then I switch over to my poor man shunt and I'm reporting about 30 amps, 30 to 31 amps. So it's very close. Now I want to show the stability with the PWM turned on. So I want to set it to about 50% of the input. So we're going to crank it down to about oh, 15 amps. Okay. And we're reading uh, on the current HE now, we're reading 44.2. And that comes out to be 11.5 amps. For 15 amp equivalent. Now, so we're running approximately a 50% duty cycle, and we're looking at uh, 0.453, and it's hanging out right around there. So we're well. Uh, yeah, the stability is, is really good. It's not, the frequency isn't affecting it. Now the accuracy, I can't, uh, I can't vouch for the accuracy of my format shot. I've never compared it on anything over three amps. I've noticed something interesting here. Um, I just recomputed the uh, poor man shunt um, voltage versus the current HE voltage, or I should say currents, and my running at about 30 amps, this uh, poor man shunt was getting very hot. Um, now they're uh, within an amp of each other. Um, 
I've got uh, 23 um, amps here and move the voltage over to the current HE and recompute that. And I get 88.7, and I get uh, 22.1. So we're within uh, uh, 0.8 uh, amps, and that's uh, that's more of what I expected. Um, so as this heats up, it's throwing my readings off, and I never checked it at uh, at that 30 amps before. And so that's uh, one of the problems with the poor man shunts is they do heat up. The resistance goes up as the temperature goes up. Um, and that causes that voltage to go up, or the voltage drop across the uh, poor man shunt to increase, which gives me a false reading. So that explains a little bit of my problem. But at 20 amps, it seems to be uh, I can touch it. And it's actually working. Um, and there might still be a little bit of heat there, uh, throwing it off. Hard to say. Yeah, we're floating around 23. But it's actually warmer than the air, so... It's still heating a slight amount. And again, that's the problem with the uh, warm end chances. They do self-heat. And that throws your reading off. I wanted to mention that the current HE uh, current sensing device is uh, currently in uh, proof of concept. Um, I've already decided to make a couple changes. Uh, one being that uh, it will operate on a 9 volt battery. Um, that gets you away from uh, having to connect it to the uh, 12 volt source. Um, it will also give you the option of going with the 12 volt or I think believe it can handle up to 20 volts so it would be from 6.5 volts to probably uh, 20 volts for the voltage input um, but it gives you that portability option um, also I think it will improve stability overall um, on the output um, without the varying voltages coming in So that is the current HE, and this is H2O2 from H2O, signing out.